announcement, Senator Urquhart wrote to NBN co-CEO Bill Morrow to inquire if the West Coast fibre to the node rollout would also shift to fibre to the kerb. What an opportunity for the people of the West Coast to have this new technology. At the time, NBN Co staff were non-committal and replied that fibre to the kerb would likely be incorporated in Queenstown, Zeen and Rosebury, but not for the whole towns. In its latest response to questions on notice, NBN Co somehow claims that the West Coast design is both too far along and to change to full fibre to the rollout, um, that the, de the detailed design process has not yet concluded, so it cannot disclose the exact technology to be used. This was a question on notice. This is their response through the Senate process. But I was on radio last week on ABC Radio Tasmania talking about this unknown uh, technology the people of the West Coast were going to get. And a minute after I finished my interview, uh, Russell Kelly, the Tasmanian manager for MBN Co on Twitter, tweeted that they were going to get fibre to the node. So we can't get a proper response through the Senate questions on notice process, but on Twitter we can get it within a minute of going on radio. NBN Co cannot have it both ways. Households and businesses on the West Coast are screaming out for improved broadband. This is a region that has had significant downturn through mining, but the local mine there, the copper mines of Tasmania, are set to reopen after a number of years of being on shutdown. And this is a great opportunity for that mine to get greater technology to be able to communicate with Mineral Resources Tasmania, which they now have to do on a a uh, CD-ROM or a USB stick and send it through Australia Post and their parent company in India. This is critical technology that regional Australia deserve and it's about time the Prime Minister do something about.